Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Crystal Rose Insights, and this is basically a part two of a reading I just started for the 1212 portal. Um, I have recorded the Divine Masculine reading, so if you haven't seen that, I'm going to put the link down below. And um, I felt called to do this reading because we're coming into a very important time here in the Twin Flame journey and the Ascension process with the 1212 portal starting in just a few days. And no matter when you see this video, the time is a continuum, so it's not st it's not static. So whenever you see this video, it's obviously the time that it's intended for you to have seen it and gotten the messages. And it is my intention that anybody who watches my videos gets a really clear message, that leaves with at least one clear message that really resonates for them that's gonna help them on their path. So, um, I have here a beautiful clear quartz cluster that I love, and um, it's going to be giving us some extra support as we go through this reading. So this is going to be the Divine Feminine coming into the portal, which goes through from December 12th through December 21st. So this is an important time of releasing and shedding and getting rid of the things that do not serve us anymore. These could be belief systems. These could be behaviors. These could be ways of thinking. This could be people in your life, relationships, toxic relationships that really bring your energy down. I mean, this is a real shedding time. Um, so what this reading is going to help the divine feminine understand is how to best take advantage of these energies and how she can best utilize the, the support that's going to be offered to her during this, this, this portal. So we're going to pull seven cards for the divine feminine and we're going to do it just like we did for the divine masculine. So seven cards, please. For the Divine Feminine. And I've called in my arch Archangels. Oh, High Priestess just jumped out. Okay, thank you. And in partnership, number two card. Listening about into, okay, King of Fire is now wanting to come out. Okay, be focused. And I'm gonna put these back in, but High Priestess is a beautiful major arcana card. Who has all the wisdom and the intuition Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop shuffling because they keep jumping out in no, in like with big clumps. So I'm just going to cut the deck and let the cards come out as they will. Look at that. Okay. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go with this. The first card is the overall energy for the Divine Feminine, and that is the Ten of Water. Oh my gosh, that came out in the Divine Masculine reading. Ooh, love it. I love when that happens. What's her current challenge here in this portal time, which is the Chariot, another major arcana? The number seven card. What does she need to release during this time? And that is the Page of Air. What is the advice for the Divine Feminine, please? The Four of Earth. The next is, how can the Divine Masculine best support the Divine Feminine during this time, which is the Five of Earth? And what's possible with the union here at the end of this time, which is the Four of Fire? And lastly, what does um, the Divine Feminine want the Divine Masculine to know during this time, which is the Dreamer? Love it. The Fool card. Leap of Faith. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of fire. So a card of partnership, a, a card of passion, a card of purpose, coming into your own new partnerships, continuing to move forward. So that's the energy at the bottom of the deck. So the overall energy for the divine feminine coming into this time is the 10 of water, which is the ultimate embodiment of happiness, contentment, family, stability, career, um, trustworthy relationships. So... Her coming into this time, I feel like she's very much, um, she knows this is within grasp. I feel like that's been a shift I've seen in the Divine Feminine recently is that she's gone as much as she's maybe struggled with some doubts here and there. I think deep down she's getting more and more faith that this is all possible, that to have the, 
the union and to be with her twin is really a, a possibility. So I feel like that, that coming into this portal, that's a good energy to have to understand that no matter what's coming up in the physical, that ultimately that she's going to have this in her future where she's, she's, she, this is, this is possible for her. Okay. Um, so what her current challenge is right now is the chariot. So the, her current challenge is because she sees this so cool. I mean, this is because she sees this and she knows she's going to have it. She's going to want to flip and move forward really quickly. You know, she's like, all right, I know I'm going to have this. I know it's coming. I've been really patient. Now let's just go. So she really wants to move forward in victory and have achievement. So her challenge is to have self-discipline right now. She needs to have the self-discipline that even though she wants to burst forward in victory, that she needs to take a little bit of a chill pill and, <laughs> and to know that the chariot's still going to be there to propel her forward in the right direction towards union. However, she, her challenge will be to exercise the faith and the patience and the self-control to realize that she doesn't need to take action right now. She doesn't need to take physical action right now. Um, because the chariot will be bringing her along as needed on a spiritual level. So major arcana. So we have two major arcanas here for the feminine. We had four for the masculine. So big messages across the board. So what is important for her to release? And that is the page of air. So the page of air is, is, is thinking, um, being really, being faced with delays or, um, changes to the plans and challenging information. So I feel like what she needs to release is the need to know or the need to not necessarily the need to know what she needs to release is letting the little things or the, the way that things show up in her life that maybe are in different form. I think she needs to release that and to have it lead her off track. I'm kind of not finding my words for this right now, but this is about being impulsive and also being curious. So I think what this is, uh, she needs to release is the, the uh, two things I'm, I'm hearing two messages and they could apply to either one could apply or both could apply or neither, but I'm hearing two messages. The first message is, I think that she's so curious about what's going on that it's kind of, it, it brings up the idea that you want to know what form things are going to come and you want your answers. Like, when's it going to happen? Is he going to call me? Is he going to be, are we going to be together? When's it going to happen? Uh, what can I do? What is he thinking? You know, obviously we're all doing and watching these videos because we're very much in that place. We want to understand. We want to understand this very up and down, elaborate and beautiful journey that we're on. So I think her challenge, though, is to remember that she's got the Ten of Water here. Remember that it's not up to... She has to exercise some self-discipline. And realizing that there may be some delays. She wants it now, and there's going to be some delays. It's probably going to take longer than she thinks. So I think she needs to release the fact that... Um, of needing to know the exact timeline and just getting into the trust. Because the air is all about, obviously, thinking. And, um, so that's kind of what I'm feeling for what she needs to release during this portal energy time. So I think if, if, if you're a divine feminine and you're watching this and you're wanting to understand how to balance this for this time is just understand, like release the expectation of a time frame. Okay. It's so hard to do. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, because I have to tell myself this all the time as well with my twin. But it is something where what's divinely yours will not go past you. And if this person is your twin, then they will be your twin. If you continue to do your work, continue to focus on you, continue to be curious about yourself and honest about honest with yourself. That would be, that would be the best thing you can do right now. And, um, and her challenge will be to kind of, yeah, so this is also about, she's got a sword of truth here. 
but it's a double-edged sword, which means she wants to be able to speak her complete truth, but there could be some challenges in the way you're tr you deliver the truth. So be careful with your communication. Um, and I think re re take a breath when you feel like saying something out of emotion. Okay, that's what I'm hearing really loudly. So take a breath. Let it um, focus. Focus on what you want to manifest. Don't let you don't let your worries get the best of you. That's another really big message with this. Is kind of anytime you're getting into your fear, pull back into your heart space. Pull back into the heart. So, what is the advice for the divine feminine going into this portal time, which is the four of Earth? which is the four of pentacles, which is very much about, um, the four of pentacles is somebody that's not wanting to, it's like wanting to hold all their cards in close and not let anybody see. Um, it's about, you know, business and money and career and abundance, but it's also, it's about giving to those who are less fortunate. Cause if in the traditional tarot that the four of pentacles and in other decks I've seen, the person's got these pentacles they're holding and they're kind of hiding them. It's like, I have these things and I don't want to share them with anybody. So the advice here for the divine feminine, whether it be with physical money or whether it be with your emotions or whether it be with your feelings or just your time, um, give to others, be, be in that giving energy. Because I think that that's something that, you know, it, and this doesn't mean go spill out your guts to your twin and tell him you think that he's your twin and that everything should be fine. That's not what this is saying. This is more just relax your grip on whole. I, I get the image of like, you know, where they say like, I'm not even, uh, it's like letting water fall through your fingers and you're holding on so tightly, but like, just let it go. Um, because that's where you'll be able to receive. If you're holding your fist really tight because you're just, you don't want to let go of anything. Well, guess what? Your hand's not open to receive, is it? Right? It's closed. So you have to open and relax your grip to be able to have your hand be open to be able to receive. So that's a message I'm getting really clearly for the divine feminine, for the advice coming into this is just kind of let go, relax, try to be more watery, try to be a little bit more um, a little bit more, uh, relaxed. Um, and it can be a card about extremes as well. So this is about being balanced too. That's another thing. Be balanced. Don't be either extreme. Okay. So how can the divine masculine best support the divine feminine? And that is the five of earth card. And, um, this is about fear surrounding money, being able to accept, um, help from others. This is about a difficult, challenging time and how the divine masculine can best support the divine feminine is, you know, focusing on the fact that I know a lot of divine feminines have been working on their career stuff. But how he can best support her is have her know that there are blessings coming through this challenging period that she's going through and that, um, and that it's okay to ask for help. And he's here to offer her the help, even just on an energetic level, you know, they may not be in communication in the 3d, but he is there to help her and support her and that she's really not alone. And, um, you know, there might be a change in the situation and there's ultimately some beautiful things coming and, you know, specific to love is that whatever's, if there's a, something that comes up during this time, he's, it's, it's very temporary. Okay. So if there's some sort of challenge she's not aware of, or she's starting to face during this portal time that whatever difficulty comes up is temporary. And so that's where she shouldn't like worry too much and get too upset and get too impulsive here. Cause ultimately she's got the 10 of water. So what's possible with the union is the four of fire, which is a four of wands, which is a, a very, which is another twin flame card always. In my opinion, you see the two 11s there and it's often could be the card of marriage 
and stability, but what's possible is contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So this is talking about the completion of a project, and here's the 10, which is a completion. Um, completion of the happiness. Here's the chariot moving us forward towards that. So... Um, Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a beautiful card to have as what's possible with the union um, as she does her work during this portal time. And lastly is what does she want the Divine Masculine to know? And that's the dreamer. She's ready to embark on this brand new journey with a lot of hope, a lot of a lot of trust and and faith. You know, she wants him to know that when he's gone through his work and he's ready to embark on it, she's ready. She's going to be here waiting patiently as she continues to do her work, continues to go through her path. But she wants him to know that she's ready to embark on this with him, with ultimate faith, following dreams, unexpected opportunities. And um, the zero card, some, 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 some people call that sort of the twin energy. It's like not the one or the ten, it's the zero. It's like it is. It's the flame. It's the connection. It's that one energy. And that source that has brought the two together. Okay, so now I want to pull. I'm gonna pull some romance angel cards. I'm gonna do sort of a very almost. Let's see if I can do almost what I did for the divine feminine. But let's pull some three three cards, please, for the divine feminine during this portal. What she's doing going into the portal energies. Because these readings that I'm doing right now are focused on how we can go into the portal. Because obviously the portal is going to take a little bit of time, a couple of weeks. And then I'll probably do another reading towards the end where we talk about how to wrap it up in the best way. But this is like, what do we need to know going into it? Okay, so three cards, please, for the Divine Feminine, for how she's feeling about her, her twin right now. First card, very soon. Release your ex. And finances and career, yeah. Okay, well that's a clear message. And I didn't even, again, love yourself first on the bottom of the deck. Self-respect, loving yourself. Always a good message to get. But here's what's interesting about this. So we're going to, she's being told like how she feels, but she's very soon. So she knows it's coming. She sees, she sees the 10 of water here. She knows it's very soon to be coming. She wants to move ahead right away, but this is reminding her it's going to be soon. It's not right now, but it is going to be soon. So keep doing your work. This is talking about releasing your ex. So this is time to clear your energy. Now, this is exactly what the portal energies are about. It's about the, it's an optimal time to really finally release the things that are no longer serving us. Some of us may still have energetic ties to an ex that are keeping us stuck a little bit. So if, you know, it could be related to an ex relationship, an ex lover, an ex karmic soulmate partner. It could just be clearing your energy from all of the things that don't serve you. This could relate to friendships. This could relate to, to, um, to past heartache, to ways that you weren't loved before the way you want to be loved and releasing the sadness around not being loved in the past the way you want to be loved now. So this could be symbolic. It could also be very literal. It could be an actual X. So that's important to know coming into this. So this is a really good time. If you feel like you've got any residual um, ties or energies or unresolved emotions relating to an X, this will be the time to release it. And finance is in a career. So, you know, we've got the two, these earth signs here, which is about um, concerns about money. And it says it's affecting your love life right now. So it's possible that the Divine Feminine is needing to get into, deal with her finances and career in a manner um, so that then she can open up the space to be able to allow for the union to come in. Because a lot of the Divine Feminine's journey is about the self-sufficiency piece. You know, she wants to be completely whole before he comes into her life. She doesn't want to risk being any sort of codependent dynamic where she needs him financially. I mean, that's not a way for equal partners to come in if she's needing him like that. You know, she's got to be able to be completely on her own. So this is an indication here, especially if this is how he can support her. 
is helping her get through to where she can fix the finances and career if that's an issue that's been happening. Okay, so now I'm going to pull three more cards for the Divine Feminine, please. What other three cards do you have for the energies of the Divine Feminine? What does she need to know going into, going into this portal energy? Three messages, please, for what does the Divine Feminine most need to know going into this? Choose your battles. Oh, nice. Yep. Choose your battles. Here you go. Connecting to this. Don't let the little things little things upset you and don't let your quick tongue hurt anybody because you're in that space. So choose your battles. Two more, please, for the Divine Feminine. Two more cards, please. And then we have Refusing to See. Stability. All right. So coming into this portal time, releasing, choosing your battles, you know, being careful to not necessarily engage with the big bad wolf that has been around you. See that these are stone. They're not real people, but they look bigger than they are. So I look at these as like the problems, you know, the divine feminine may feel like there's a lot that she needs to fight right now, but choose your battles. You don't have to fight everything. And oftentimes these problems are seem way bigger than they are because here's here you are down here and you're standing up to them and they're kind of not even they're not even looking at you. They don't even care. <laughs> they're just like staring off into space. And here you are standing your ground, but you don't have energy to fight all of them. So choose your battles. Refusing to see, I think that's an important message for the Divine Feminine because coming into this time you know, she might feel like she's done a lot of her work, and I know she has. And we, I mean, she clearly has. But it's possible that she thinks that she's done a lot of her work, but she still has more to do. Because this journey is really never-ending. We don't ever really get to an end point. So yeah, we're done. We're good. We're healed. We're fine. We're, not, we're just going to sit and drink a pina colada on the beach for the rest of our lives. Like, that's certainly not what this journey is. So um, this is reminding the feminine to really look to see what is she not seeing? What is she not connecting to in her divinity? She's looking down. She's got this, you know, metal crown that's blocking her connection to the divine. And she's not even trying to look at the divine. She's kind of like, yeah, I don't really want to see. And um, by choosing the battles, opening up your heart and your mind to what you need to see, here comes joy and stability which again is a four card, which is about stability, but there's also a lot of joy, the yellow, the sparks. This really reminds me of just like the spark of creation. And to me, I feel like this is what happens when twins get together. So there's this beautiful spark that happens that radiates out to everybody around them. Okay. Now, for her, I want to pull, I'm going to do something a little different than I did for the Divine Masculine. I'm going to pull from the Goddess Oracle cards for the Divine Feminine. What, um, what two cards of advice do you have, Goddesses, for the Divine Feminine? Going into this portal time about what she needs to release, how can she do her best work during these energies coming into the portal, please. Two cards, please. The first one is Astara Fertility. Perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Okay, so what's interesting is as we release during this time, it will make space for some creative ideas. So pay attention to the pay attention to the um, signs and, and intuition that come through during this time as you're releasing you might get a, a random idea in the middle of the night or a random thought coming to you or a mysterious or not, not mysterious like a, just a a phone call or an email or something that you notice that all of a sudden sparks an idea for you so pay attention for that because as you're releasing nature abhors a vacuum so as you're releasing new things will come in so um really 
look for opportunities to where new ideas and new things might come. And also there might be new conditions that come in. And next is Das, which is independent. So your independence is your foundation for strength and success. So that's what we were talking about here when we got these three cards, right? Is finances and career being independent, being truly independent. That could mean finances and career. It also could mean very much like your own strength and your your need to, that your ability to stand on your own two feet emotionally too. Um, you know, release any need to, you know, feel like you can't be alone. Be comfortable with your own company. Okay. Be happy with your own company. You might long for a relationship. You might want it and desire it. And that's totally fine. But I think the important piece is, is really focusing on your independence, focusing on, focusing on this time because you know, this is coming. You know, you want to move forward. You will be moving forward. But you've got this earth, you've got this like energy here. You're going to start off your new journey with your twin. But in the meantime, focus on your independence. Focus on nurturing the best of you because you'll be off able to offer the best of yourself to your twin should you do that. Okay, and now I'm also going to do... I'm going to pull um, a clarifier, actually. I want a little bit more information on this page of air. What other messages, angels, do you have for the page of air for what's to release? And here's what's funny is this card is, oh my gosh. Okay, so this card was flipped up. I don't know if you could see that. I was just shuffling, and all of a sudden there's one card, and it's the heart chakra. So what's to release? It's safe for you to love. Yeah. So anytime you let your fears take, get the best of you during this time, or you start to think or wonder or get upset that it's not happening fast enough because you want it to happen really fast, remember it's safe to love. Remember that it is safe to love. So release your need to understand because you need to, you need to release the fact that you don't believe that you're worthy of the love that you really want. Okay. So what's there to release is see how she's holding her heart, her hands over her heart. She's protecting it. She's got to let her hands down and open up. Yeah. She's longing in this picture. And this is where the independence message comes in. So she's here. She looks a little forlorn. She's longing. She's a little sad. She needs to release this sadness around her heart and she needs to, become this amazing goddess that she is because this is how her divine masculine sees her he's not going to recognize her if she's this kind of blah person i don't know how else to say it she's gonna blah like oh she feels very meek to me she does not feel very meek and this is the, the true energy of the divine feminine she's independent Yet she's open. See how open she is? She's wide open and she's open to the blessings coming to her. Her heart space is open. Her arms are open. She's looking up towards, towards the heavens. This is the divine feminine. So when you find yourself being this, which one do you want to be? Basically ask yourself that question. <laughs> um, I think that's, I think that's, uh, there you go. Okay. All right, how are we doing on time here? Hey, not too bad. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull a couple other cards here for the Divine Feminine. And I'm going to pull some messages from our friend Michael, Archangel Michael. So, Michael, what advice do you have, please? What is your final message of advice for the Divine Feminines for coming into this portal energy? What's your best piece of advice, please, for the Divine Feminine coming into this port, uh, portal? The 1212 portal. What's your best piece of advice for her, please? Okay. I always love Michael's messages. It's funny. he. I love wrapping up my readings with 
a message from him because he's overseeing everything else as he always does and he always kind of adds a really good punctuation mark at the end of a reading for me and I don't always pull it right at the end but usually close to the end so all right Michael one card please he wants you to keep talking about him and how wonderful he is that's why he's not giving me a card yet <laughs> Oh, and this is too many cards. Okay. All right. You're being a wise guy. I get it. <laughs> he had to show me who was in charge. All right. All right. One card, please. All right. This one jumped out. A favorable outcome. Oh, I love that. It says, thank you for the beautiful outcome of the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith oh see realize you're deserving of love realize that this is what you need to release divine feminine is feeling like this because you are this and he's telling you this a favorable outcome so do your work stay grounded meditate continue to have faith and What I'm noticing here is he's looking down at the lights and he's looking down at the balanced scales and he's on the edge of the water. So it's really, it feels like a lot of emotion, but it's also just seeing the light from the dark. See how it's nighttime where he is. And so where you are right now, you might not quite see, not that you're in a dark place, but I think sometimes you might not have the ability to really see that the light and the favorable outcome is really there. So the clarity of seeing the lights in the darkness is what this card is saying to me. It's really wanting to stand out and show you that the light is here. All right, my friends, um, I'm so so glad to have been able to do this reading for you tonight. Um, please thank you always for your likes, shares, and subscribes and comments. I love to hear from you. And um, it's my prayer that you have an incredible portal time. We'll be in touch with some more readings um, between now and then as well to help support you with this. But in the meantime, in abundant love always. Bye.